Hello everyone, it's Miss Emma back with video number 11 in our YouTube Tinkercad series. I hope that you enjoyed our last YouTube video on how to model a character. And in today's video, we are going to learn how to use already existing 2D images and convert them into 3D images on Tinkercad. So now that I've shown you how to use all of the tools on Tinkercad to create your very own uh, models, designs by grouping shapes, aligning them, all of that good stuff. I'm going to show you how to integrate other people's work into your own. So ideally, you're making your own designs from scratch, but when it's applicable, you might as well use what's already out there. So in today's video, I'm going to start with a blank work plane. What eventually I'm going to use this 2D converted image to be as a stamp. So you'll have the base of your stamp and then the 2D image that I convert to a 3D image will be the part of the stamp that's sticking out that you would like dip in ink to stamp onto a paper or whatever you're stamping. So to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and drag out a box to be the base of my stamp. I'm not gonna make this a very realistic size at first. I'm just gonna drag out box. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and search up whatever 2D image I want. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up a new window and search in Google Chrome for whatever I wanna put on my stamp. If you don't already know this about me, I have ridden horses all my life, so I am going to look up horse and I like to add silhouette because the simpler the image is, the easier time that Tinkercad is going to have uploading that into a 2D image. So ideally it should be solid, not too many colors. I'll show you a really simple design, like one that I picked from here, and I'll show you what happens if you choose something not as simplistic. So let me find a picture of a horse that I like. Let's do this jumping one, it's pretty cool. So I need to save this image somewhere that is easy to find. So let's see, I'm gonna save this image as and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop, but I need to name it something I'll remember. So we'll say horse, and it's just gonna go to desktop. Save. So when this downloads, you'll notice it downloaded as a JPEG. So this isn't going to be a file that I'm able to upload into Tinkercad. In order to upload into Tinkercad, I need it to be what we call an SVG file. So I need to convert this. I'm just going to Google SVG converter. And usually the first one that pops up on the search is the one that I always use. As always on the internet, I want you guys to exercise caution. You can easily download malware by using these types of sites. So just be really careful and only click on things that you actually are going to use. So I need to click here to choose a file. Remember I saved it to my desktop so it's easy to find. Horse JPEG open. And then once that loads, I can start my conversion. <laughs> Again, not clicking on anything else. So I see here, horse SVG, and now I see that it's already downloaded right here. So now I could go back into Tinkercad and I could import things. So if I click on this import button, I could choose a file. I think that ended up going to my downloads, horse SVG. There we go. And you'll notice that it already comes with dimensions depending on how large the file is. I'm gonna say import and see what happens. Sometimes the file will be too big and it'll automatically change those. Or if you know how big you want your file to be, you could change those there. So now this has downloaded as a 3D version of the 2D image. And of course I can edit the size and scale of this. Drag it over to my box. lift it up a little bit and make it a little thinner and again I would just take some time to resize that and place it in the middle so that's what happens when you upload a really simple image what if you wanted your stamp to be something more complicated let's try a different image so I'm gonna try horse without the silhouette which of course is probably gonna be a more realistic image so things with backgrounds and stuff like that is gonna be difficult for it to upload. I'm not even gonna try one of those, but something with a plain background, let's, let's say this one. I'm gonna save image as, I'll just say horse two. 
send that to my desktop again i have to make sure this is going to download as an svg file so i can upload it to tinkercad and again download it as a jpeg so i'm going to go back to my converter i'm just going to go back so i don't want to click on anything accidentally choose file it's on my desktop force to open start conversion and it should go ahead and start downloading for me automatically so I'll do this one just as another upload onto the same work plane And you'll see that it has a little bit of an error on the face here, but for the most part, it just downloaded as a silhouette version. So my suggestion is to search for images that are already silhouettes or clip art type images that are already really simplistic. You'll notice that the general shape of these 2D images is similar to like when we use the scribble tool where it is raised, so it is 3D, but it's mostly just like a raised flat inversion with two flat sides. So it's not going to be completely round, but it does make making things like a keychain or a stamp or something where you know you want like an indented silhouette design of something that already exists like a logo or an animal or a character. This is an easy way to implement those designs without having to spend the time creating that design yourself. So again, that image wouldn't work. If that one didn't work that well, you can imagine that more complicated images wouldn't work very well either. Once you have your design the right size and fitting perfectly onto your block, you would go ahead and group them. I'm gonna align it first though, so let me select both of them. And then I'll go ahead and group them. I'm actually gonna change the color first though. Let's do pink or stamp. Then if I group it, Multicolor, my sample back to normal and I can move it around. So my suggestion to you guys is to go ahead and design a couple of stamps, probably like two or three with different designs. You're just gonna have to play around with images to find ones that actually convert into an SVG onto Tinkercad well. As you saw, some of them work really well, some of them aren't gonna upload perfectly. So worst case scenario, just delete it and try to find another image. Hopefully you guys have fun implementing these converted 2D images into your designs. We'd love to see what you create. Feel free to send us an email with your designs. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video as we approach the end of our Tinkercad YouTube series.